In this video, I show you how to create a file logo animation inside of After Effects. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let's go. Okay, let's create a new composition. We, we will be using best settings. Click OK. And then I already have some project files that I have downloaded. And I'll put the link for those in the description. So I'll drag this here. We have some looping particles here. And I'll drag the logo as well and we want to while having the logo selected we go to layer and then we select this one auto trace and if you have this checked apply to new layer then make sure to uncheck this and then we keep the same settings click ok so it has created a mask out of it so we press m it shows us the paths for the mask and i select the first one shift select the last one ctrl c to copy close the settings right click here go to new solid we create a new solid we can name this file logo click ok and then ctrl v to paste the settings so there we have the mask and then we can go to effects and presets type in saber from video copilot so if you don't have this one yet from saber then you should go ahead and download it and then install it to your after effects it can be useful so double click on this one and then rather than it being a straight line like that we want it to animate within the mask so we go to customize core and then change this to layer mask so we have this now and we change it from the preset we go to preset change it to fire and now we have fire looking logo and now we can drop the glow intensity i'll keep this at 20 core size i'll change this to 5 we can drop the glow intensity from glow settings as well so I'll have this at 35, close the settings and then I'll go to render settings, change this composite settings to transparent so we can see the particles that we had before. I'll uncheck this one and then I'll select the particle layer, go to effects and presets, type in tint and apply it to the particles and I want to keep the blacks at black so we have map black too we keep this the way it is and then we change this whites to red so the particles turn into red and now we go back to effects and presets and type in lens so it's this one CC lens double click on it to apply and then we change the size of it like that so when we turn this on and off you can see it opens up to the size to the sides like that it's up to you if you want to add it or not so and now we go to the solid layer and then go to the beginning and we want to give this an animation so open the settings for customize core and then set a keyframe on start size and end size and then change this to zero so i'll press u to view the keyframes i can view from here and then i'll go to two seconds 15 frames change start size to 100 and then i'll go to five seconds and then change the end size to 100 this time and then go to 7 seconds, 15 frames now. Change this back to 0, start size. And then go to the end of it. And then change end size to 0. So we'll be having this type of animation. Yeah, I'll make this render and then come back to you. So I'll close the settings now and we can add 
the sound effect that we have and then I'll press L I'll go to three seconds set a keyframe on audio levels and then go to the beginning change this to minus 15 go to seven seconds set another keyframe on audio levels keep the value at zero and then at the end we change this to minus 15 and i'll come back to you when this one renders and this is what the end animation looks like